We are in the kitchen and it is time to talk holiday food and wine. Our friends, the board couple, are here. It's Monica and Brian. It's good to see you guys. It's great to see you. Too. Okay, I'm excited about this. Look what we can make with just a little inspiration. So fun, so cute, and we're going to get to that, but let's start with wine. Let's do it. Right. I know. Yeah. Around the holidays, it's all about wine and food, right? Yeah. But you know what no one ever talks about? Okay, tamales, right? It's a staple here in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we got 10 days till Christmas. See, 10 days, 10 days. <laughs> it's a 10. And so it's 10. I thought that I'd bring the party and okay. talk, to, talk about, you know, like pairing tamales and wine. Okay. Um, so above all else, the overhanging fruit, if you will, every pun intended, is when in doubt, let the bubbles flow. So okay. we're going to start there, right? Okay, so bubbles and tamales are a good match? Yeah, more so okay. uh, as far as with a uh, lighter fare, like if you're going vegetarian or with chicken, it's going to be amazing. Okay. So you want to go, I guess the rule of thumb would be, uh, pay attention to if you can ask the sommelier or you know the store clerk, it's going to be about higher acidity and okay. more fruit forward. So uh, say like pork tamales, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to worry so much about the tannins, but like a, a nice temper neo, a, okay. a younger temper neo is going to be more wine. fruit forward. Or you're going to have like a, a monastrell also from Spain, you okay. know, little Spanish flair there as well. But uh, before I get to the other ones, cheers, you guys. Okay. Happy cheers. holidays. Happy. Happy holidays. It's never a bad day when you're starting off with bubbles, right? <laughs> I know. Absolutely. So, and then mm. also if you're oh, you know, good. more into like yeah. reds and you're like, well, I'm not really feeling the whites. You can go uh, with a Pinot Noir, okay. but just go old world. That's why I brought this French friend here for um, <laughs> for chicken as well. And you know, I can't forget about the sweets, right? Okay. So I'm just gonna say this. If there's any chocolate around, open a bottle of port and thank me later. Okay, port it is for dessert. Absolutely. I like it, I like it. So now we know exactly what we should be drinking but let's talk about putting together a festive centerpiece. Yes, okay. so much fun. There's a couple of different ways you can do a charcuterie. <laughs> Such a hard word <laughs> to say. It's hard to say, charcuterie. Charcuterie. Like okay. So we brought a couple of different versions. Brian whipped up this whipped chev tree. Okay, that looks amazing. Thank well, thank you. you. What, yeah. How do you do that? Well, so you just chop some fresh herbs. You're gonna like shape a, you can use uh, a cream cheese if you will. I use a chev, it's real nice. Just get the shape there, roll it over, uh, some fresh chopped, rough chop uh, herbs, and then uh, you can decorate it with some berries. Um, I've seen peppers, things like that. Okay. And then you just want to make it look rustic and fun. So cute. I want to yeah. dig into it real bad, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold off. <laughs> okay, let's talk about these because these are so cute. Thank you. Yeah, so everyone always goes for the big ones over here. Right, you can do a big one. But sure. we thought, you know what, make it a centerpiece. Put a couple in the middle of the table so everyone can kind of snack on. You okay. know, each one's going to feed like two to three people. There's a lot of stuff it's on there. You're going to create a whole forest. Whole forest. You can do <laughs> you can do the easy, simple way of just slicing up brie. Okay, we got that. Some, it's a little tree, Yeah, right? some herbs and then little tree. You can cut out a star for that. These over here, you just want to grab some styrofoam. Do you find them like this at the craft store? Oh, they yeah. come this way? You oh. can get them in green or white. Oh, green okay. is green great because it kind of hides if you're not wanting to do a whole bunch of herbs in between. Okay. Kind of hides the little imperfections of when you're shoving mm -hmm. things in there. So uh, what you're going to want to do is skewer up some of your favorites. You can do meats, you can do and you berries. And you're so cute by using cute skewers. You can right? do, yeah, you can absolutely do all fruit if you wanted to. Okay. You can go a little rustic and kind of just do like the, the unoutlined version, which is over here. You can do a pattern if you want. Is there a system or we just start stabbing? If you want to do the free form, go start for it. Stabbing. You're just going to start stabbing. <laughs> and then of course the little tree will go on top. It's just cheddar that Brian um, traced and cut out with a knife this morning. Of course so. he did. <laughs> okay, while I'm stabbing over yeah. here, let's talk a little bit about you guys because I know you are a go-to when it comes to the holidays. Yes. Are you still taking orders? Is there time? Absolutely. We are, yes. Yeah? We're open Christmas Eve and we're open New Year's Eve. And so we're doing pickups and deliveries and setups both Sundays. Okay, so yes, you can pick stuff up. What about comfort? How's that oh. going? It's good. It's great. We, uh, we are open Friday evenings, Saturday day and evenings, and Monday evenings for dinner and we are still taking holiday reservations. We have a ton of fun stuff planned throughout the new year there. And then of course we'll be at uh, Hemisphere for New Year's Eve oh, so with our chicory. So yeah. fun. Okay, how am I doing? That's great. That, yeah. that looks beautiful. You can the back bear. It'll be like the tree at home, <laughs> this is you know? for meat lovers right here. <laughs> no one's looking at the back of the tree. No one's Don't look, back look at the back. I mean, do you really put ornaments on the back of the tree? No, no one I does. Don't, no right? one does. Lights or ornaments. For that. Nope, it's just a front looking tree. Okay, so there we go. We'll, we'll, we'll start right here, top. and 
It's, Voila. Well, yeah. look, it's okay, a Christmas that. miracle. It's a Christmas tree. miracle. <laughs> I Christmas love miracle. it. Okay, yours are way better, but so fun. So you would use the cone for one like this. That, did you just mold it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. You just mold it and then uh, you can decorate it with uh, some chopped nuts as well. Um, you can go savory. You can roll it in a top of nut. It's, it's just really fun. It's just, okay. you know, made to be an attraction. It's dippable. Right. I love it. And thank you for the wine recommendations. Of course. Always good to see you guys. You Here's too. where you can find the board couple. You can visit them in San Antonio. They are on North Zarzamora Street. They are also in Comfort on High Street. You can find out all the details when you check the website. It's theboardcouple.com. And if you want to make an order, for the holiday season, do it quickly. Check the website or call the number on your screen.